Now what we want to do is we want to find where the hole is. Like I said, you want to clear out two spaces if you're uh, coming down the hole straight to the back. You want to place one redstone torch down. Then in front of that redstone torch, you want to have a redstone repeater. And so the redstone repeater should be on the entire time. And so now what we're going to do is one block away from the repeater, you want to take it back out your redstone, and then place one redstone right here. And then you want to take back out your regular piston, place one right here. And so what this piston is going to do is once a block lands here, once we set up the redstone, it will push the repeater just like that. And that's what we want. And so we're going to have, we're going to transfer this redstone over to, actually, did that actually just work the way it's supposed to? Huh. That's weird, I didn't even know you could do it that way. I usually have the redstone going around to the back of the piston. But if we don't need that... Uh, uh, so anyways, now we want to dig down two more, like three more, uh, underneath this piston. And then we'll get to why, we'll, why we are doing that later. Alright, so now the whole point of this is... So say if I take our sand out, and I drop it into this hole. Boom. So then once the hole is filled, it will keep pushing the sand until you get to however far you want it. And so we need to clear out a space where the sand is going to be. Because uh, once you press the button, we want the sand to go away. And so we want to dig a trench that's going to be too deep. So it's going to go down two. Then down in this gap, you're going to place torches on every single block. Just like this. And that's exactly how we want it. And then you want to dig out two, uh, or you want to dig out three blocks on the sides, just like this. And only dig it down one block. Don't dig down two. And then you want to take uh, your sticky pistons out, and then one block away from the corner, from the edge. Then in front of the sticky piston, you want to place uh, stone. And then dig two blocks back behind the pistons, and then one block down. Oh, misplaced that one. And so if you have it set up right, you should have the pistons to where you can see the pistons sitting on top of the stone. And that's how we want it. Now we're going to take our redstone repeaters out, and we're going to place the repeaters down on each block. And then behind it, place the redstone. Eventually these will be on fully, but we're not fully done yet. And I'm just going to clear out some space. And you can clear how much space you want. It all depends on how much space you want and how many things of sand you want to be uh, pushed down to activate the buttons. All right, so as you can see, we have the redstone torch here and the redstone repeater. We're going to do the exact same thing again, just on the other side. So once you dig out, dig out your trench and you have your last piston, in front of the next piston, do the same thing with the redstone torch and the repeater. Boom, there we go. And so now we're going to do the, uh, what's it called, redstone right here, one block away. And then we're going to dig up until we find those pistons that uh, are going to push up the main block to activate the buttons. And so we need to dig up a little bit so we can find them. And once we find them, we're going to make a passageway connecting them to the bottom down here. Aha, there are the pistons that we need. Alright, so once you find the pistons, you want to clear out some more space so it's a little bit easier to work with. Like I said, you're gonna, down here it's a little bit more crazy than up above. Uh, up above it's really compact, but then down below it's kind of huge. Oh, I got rid of some redstone right there. I can fix that later. Every now and then you will run into that problem where you get rid of some blocks and there's redstone on top of them. Don't worry about it, you can just replace it later. So we're just clearing out some more space so we can get to the pistons. We're almost there. Don't worry if you see the sky. You can always go back in and fill those back in later. All right, so we have the pistons right here. Now we want to set up stone underneath, and then stone on the on the sides. Then have the stone come out two from the pistons. On each piston, you want to place. Oop, I lagged a little bit there. You want to place a repeater connecting each piston. And then redstone behind it. Now we're going to have the redstone connected all the way to this piece of redstone down here. So we need to connect them. 
So there is one problem that I found every now and then you will run into, is that this uh, once everything is, uh, so let's. I'm trying to find a way to describe this. So once a piece of sand is right here, as you can see, it activates the redstone, but then it also act activates this piston. We do not want that. To fix this, we will get rid of that and replace it with a redstone repeater. That will fix that problem. And then place one more piece of redstone right here. And now we can continue with connecting the redstone to the pistons up above. So just do this, make stair steps going up so you can connect them. Almost there. Boom. Now connect the redstone. You might have to add a repeater. It all depends on how much space you have. And so if we come up, as you can see, the blocks are pushed up because this piece of sand is still here. And that's what we want. So once the sand gets this far, uh, it will activate the redstone. Then the redstone will activate these pistons up here. So then if we get rid of the sand that's right there, these go down. And now you cannot press any of the buttons up above. All right, so everything's going extremely well so far. We're going to get rid of these pieces of sand. Now, uh, on the far side, not where the hole is on the front, but on the far side, you want to place a piston two blocks away from uh, this middle, from the trench. And what this is going to do is this piston is going to be on the entire time as well. And we're going to clear some space behind the piston so we, again, have some more space to work with. I'm sorry if I'm not describing this very well. It is kind of hard to describe on how to get this right. Uh, I'm trying my best to describe it for you guys. So, and it's going to clear some more space on this side. Okay, so we want this piston to be on the entire time. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go back up to the surface. And then this is where this pressure plate right here comes into play. So we want to place a piece of redstone underneath the pressure plate. So once a piece of the item that you're dispensing lands on the pressure plate, it activates the redstone. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to connect this redstone all the way down to that bottom piston down there. So make stair steps going all the way down so it connects. So it's basically like reverse of what we just did with the other pistons. We're going to make stair steps going down this time, not going up. You don't have to worry about how this looks down below because not too many people are going to see it or know about it. Alright, so now that we have the redstone going down, we want to make the redstone go all the way to this piston, but we don't want the redstone to touch this redstone torch. As you can see, the redstone is touching the redstone torch, which is activating it. That's actually what we do not want. So we want to go around this torch, so it's not on the entire time. And then what you want to do now is connected to the piston right here and now you can do this anywhere but we're going to make sure that this piston is always on so we're going to get rid of a piece of uh, redstone replace it with a piece of stone then get rid of the block in front of it closest to the piston and place a redstone torch as you can see the redstone torch is uh, activating the piston and so if we get rid of the torch the, the block right in front of the piston, you want to dig down two, then place a uh, regular torch. And the reason these torches are here is so once the piece hits the pressure plate, it's going to open up these, and then the gravel or sand will fall onto the torch and they will break. And that's what we want. Now we're going to replace the sandstone, or not the sandstone, the redstone torch. And we're going to continue this line of redstone going all the way down to here, where a pig is but to these pistons that will control the floor and so we're going to set up the redstone connecting all of these we're almost done guys this like i said this is actually very easy to do there's just a lot of steps to it and then just connect the redstone i would make sure you add a repeater somewhere because we're not done with the redstone yet okay so now what we're going to do is as you can see everything is activated so far but now we need to add a couple more pistons. Then this piston we're getting ready to add can be the most pain in the butt because every now and then there's something that will just not work with it. And so we're gonna dig down as you can see, we, this gap that we made or this hole that we made uh, a while ago going down where the sand or the gravel is going to drop into. We're going to make another 
regular or sticky piston. Sorry, we're gonna have a regular. Uh, why, why do you keep saying a regular piston? A sticky piston down here, and I am one block away from this piston up above. And so then we're going to clear out some more space back behind this piston, so we can connect some more wiring to it. So we want to find where is this gap at? Trying to find something real quick. Is this it? Oh, here it is. So where this redstone is, that's our that's already on. I, I'm sorry if I'm stuttering, guys. I'm trying my best not to. Uh, we want to connect this redstone down below where these pistons are. We want to connect it to the piston that we just added. So just like this. And then connect the redstone. You will need to add a repeater because the redstone will not reach this far. So keep that in mind. Because we want all of these pistons to be on the entire time. And so we're going to add another repeater right here. So it continues the circuit. And now this piston should be on. And now with this piston, we want to add a stone piece attached to it. And then underneath, we want to add a torch. Boom. Uh, so let's see if everything's looking good so far. Everything is looking good so far. So now let's test it out. So we're going to come back up to the top. Actually, we can just stay down below. Take out your sand or gravel. Then place it in the gap. Place it in front of the piston. As you can see, it will connect. Uh, it will keep pushing the sand. So boom, here we go. As you can see, everything is activated now. So if we come up to the top, all these should be activated so you can press a button now. And so you want to place your item of your choice that you picked into the dispensers. So green, blue will go in the middle, and then red will go on the end. Alright, so now what we need to do is we come back up to the top. So say I have, if I want blue wool, I'll press the blue button. It will dispense the blue. It will land on the pressure plate. Do not pick up the blue piece of wool or whatever block you're using. If you go back down, you should see that something is not right. So the, every now and then you can find these problems and we just need to find the solution to them. And so, oh, okay. The redstone wasn't reaching this far, so we need to have a redstone repeater. As you can see, everything dropped, and that's how we want it. And so now, once you place more sand in, you can just keep repeating this process, and it will keep dispensing out pieces. And so now we want to find a way to make it to where you can see when the like when this pathway is full. And so this, this is actually extremely easy to do. And so where these pistons are up here. We are going to, on the right side, if we're behind the pistons, we're going to make a little tunnel connecting it to, I'm trying to think the best way to do this. So let's improvise a little bit. Let's, let's see, drop this down a little bit. So take the redstone back out. There is a lot of going into your inventory in this, I've realized. Uh, so what was I what was I doing oh yeah so we want to come to the right side of the pistons take your stone out and then extend it a little bit farther until it meets with this block right next to the green wool just so your first block so right here the one closest to the ground now we want to make it to where uh, the redstone comes all the way through and then as you can see it kind of connects with this right here that's fine all you have to do is just place a block so it fixes that and then have the redstone come up one block and then have it come all the way to one block behind the wall and then we want to place a redstone torch on the other side of the block and what this will do is let me just show you as you can see the redstone torch is on right now now if we keep filling this back up so let's make sure everything's right first how do we get back down there let's add a repeater so we make sure everything's going just fine and so say if we fill everything back up with sand or gravel 
just like this. If we go back up to the top, the redstone torch should be off. That's how you know it's full. Now you can just replace the stone that you got rid of back here and on the sides. So everything's working just fine so far. Everything's working exactly how we want it to. And so we're basically done. Uh, I'm trying to think of other things to add. And so I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything for you guys. So now if we press the button, if I want red wool, it will dispense it onto the pressure plate. And all of this should go away. So uh, what this piston right here is for, uh, it will grab the piece of sand on this block and pull it onto the torch. And that's what we want. Yeah, so everything's working just fine. So now what we want to do is we want to cover up the top with the stone right here. Like I said, this is only three tall, three blocks tall. And so, it, like I said, it's really compact up above, but down below, it's a little bit crazier. And then we can, oh yeah, I need to fix this piece right here. I got rid of by accident. I got rid of something up here, I believe. Just wanna make sure I don't miss anything. Yep, right here. Boom, now everything should be working again. Take out our grass, then just fill up these empty gaps right here. And so let's see how this works. So to activate uh, this block right here so we can place everything, just stand on the pressure plate, and then just start feeding in the sand or gravel into the square. Then once it's full, the redstone torch should go off. All right, so now it's full. And so we just back off the pressure plate. That will close. You can pick any item you want. It, oh, I fell off the cliff. It will dispense it. You pick it up and boom, there you go. Now you have your vending machine. You can make this inside of mountains. You can make it inside of buildings. Uh, you can basically make it anywhere as long as it's not on a flat map and you have a lot of space down below. So I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, like I said, this is just something me and my friends have been working on. I had an idea for a vending machine and so we tried to make it and this is what we came up with. I know there's a lot of other ones that are extremely complicated and are extremely good, but this one's more for the beginners like me because I'm not great with redstone. And so hopefully this will help you guys out. So please ride guys and thanks for watching.